Welcome back to Great Day at 9A. The Song Foundation is holding the first ever Ethan Song Memorial Blood Drive. Yeah, it's in honor of Ethan, a teen who was killed in an accidental shooting when a fire a uh, friend found an unsecured gun. Marcy Jones is live at the Blood Drive in Guilford this morning to tell us more. Marcy, how are you? How's it going? A lot of people showing up? Good morning. Yes, it's a great turnout. It's a bittersweet morning because, of course, our hearts are heavy here. We're remembering Ethan on the uh, fifth uh, marking of his passing which is obviously very upsetting. We're here with his parents. We have Mike and Kristen Song. Good morning. Good morning. So let's take a moment and leave people with kind of um, a story about Ethan or something that you want to share that's on your heart. Um, maybe a memory that really is just so warming to you. What is something that you want people to know about your son? Um, well, five years ago today, um, after he got his braces off, we went out for breakfast and we probably had one of the most incredible conversations we've had as mother and son. And what was so incredible was he was so excited about his life, his future. And he sat there and told me um, that he wanted to graduate from Rice University. He wanted to join the Army because he was a, he, he loved this country and he wanted to marry he wanted to marry and have seven children so that was such a, a wonderful conversation that we had that day yes and I know that you have found strength with each other with your other children who are on their way here which we're so excited about and you're really using this platform to do good um, you've partnered up with the Red Cross today this is the inaugural event why did we want to do a blood drive Mike well because this is the, the day that we lost Ethan and uh, I, I, Kristen said we should probably try to find a way to, to build something positive out of this which has been our our whole strategy as a family right. let's do positive things let's let's uh, we lost the child but let's have a mission of kindness so this is a wonderful way that people can give back mm -hmm. and I'm so thrilled that they've doubled the number of people that normally come to the event here we just want to keep helping out yeah because that keeps Ethan alive and it keeps his legacy alive mm -hmm. so it's really rewarding to be here with so many people and I love to hear that you're so you're such an inspiration for everyone not only you know uh, somebody who's lost a loved one but for everyone to get involved channel that um, heartache into something that can do so much good and I know that you mentioned earlier Kristen that the Red Cross is really struggling right now with the amount of donations they're getting so does it warm your heart that we're seeing a lot of people come through the door remembering Ethan and, and donating to a great cause yes absolutely and um, before I decided to do this blood drive I had no idea that the Red Cross struggled mm -hmm. to get blood and I just assumed that you could drive up to the hospital right. and there'd be endless amounts but that is not the case yeah so you know Mike and I talk about this you know today Ethan took his last breath but we're hoping these donations will give breath to other people That's such a lovely sentiment and I know that you guys have a lot of other events coming up because you're a very popular family a lot of people in this community love and want to support you so if you would just kind of give us an idea of some of the other ones that are coming up I've got the, got the whole list here in case you need a well thank you we have a bowl of fun in East Haven that we do which is usually sells out so if you want to learn about that you can just you know search for Ethan song Fabulous. kindness yep. on Facebook and we have a kindness page there and uh, we have a road race that usually gets oh, okay. 800 to a thousand people uh, mm -hmm. on June 3rd mm -hmm. so if you're a runner we'd love to have you come down to Guilford it's we a know. beautiful yep. course Susan Raff is always the first one in line for that we know yep. that one well yep and then I know a lot of kids are playing spike ball these days mm -hmm. it's a really cool new new sport that's just taken off and we do a spike ball tournament in August so I love that so, we so have... many ways to get involved and to remember Ethan yeah every couple months there'll be something so tune in <laughs> All right, so everyone come on down. Today we're here in Tel 6 at the East Creek Landing here in Guilford. All right. Thanks, Thanks Marcy. Appreciate it. What a great it. event. Yeah, it really is great.